Yeah. So uh, back to what you were saying. Okay, so I just I bring them things and I dress up very nice and I have a nice uh, car. Mm -hmm. And I don't know exactly why, but I am in such a slump and the women, they just don't responsive anymore. T tell me how they are responding. They respond with sexual love for the first few times, but then they are leaving and, and maybe going somewhere else. And are you giving them that sexual love back? I give them so much of that sexual love. Mm -hmm. So much of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very much. Very much. Until they are weeping. But then I can't keep doing it all the time because I'm not emotionally fulfilled. Yes? I suppose. But then sometimes I am left all by myself. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, not good because I am a man. I am supposed to have a wife. But Milos, one of the things that you left out, which we've talked about in sessions before, is about how sometimes you take things a little bit too far. One time I take um, a bunch of, I take lighter fluid and I light up the whole backyard. I spell out her, her name of her favorite cat and I put the cat and make it run through that to impress her. And, and it not work for me. It didn't work at all for me. And can you understand how maybe that would have been a little bit offensive or how, how she would have responded that way? Hmm. No. No. Wait, let's, let's go back to your mother. Can you just talk a little bit more about her? Why? Come on. Always with the mother. She's dead, you know? She's died. She's dead. She's not alive anymore. And how does that impact you sexually? I don't think about my mother when I'm having a sex. That's a little bit strange. It's really? I'm supposed to? I'll keep that in mind. So uh, back to what you were saying. One time I took a bunch of mouse trap and I spell out her name and she come in in the middle of the night and it <laughs> and she very surprised. And I don't understand why these women, they're not responsive to me. I get them so much close to my clutches until I have them right where I want them. And then they are go away like a bird that I want to shoot. Do you think that I have a problem? Yes. Do you think that my problem is with uh, uh, with women? Yes, among other things. What other things could it be? Well, in, in my professional opinion, I'd say that you're just a prick. Okay. That, that sounds right. Thank you. I'm glad we made progress. Let's do this again next week. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the camp party. Yeah.